through VLON it's also possible to, to get the data from the races. The data makes it interesting for a lot of general cyclists. The guys work hard to publish some uh, key segment data. Trying to get as much data out there um, is always good for the sport. Here comes Christoph Laporte in the white jersey. Bauhaus and it's Coy alongside Milan. <laughs> I think it's really cool that Phelan comes up with this new uh, data collection system. They've been really leading in stuff like this to bring the live data to the spectators. I see a lot of people uh, being interested in the watts we, we push and the speeds we manage to, uh, to hold for quite a while on the bike. So I think uh, yeah, it's one of the future things of, of uh, making cycling more entertaining. You see the, the live splits and uh, everything like that in motorsport. Um, all the data from how many passes were successful or assists were in, in football. So I think, uh, yeah, trying to get as much data out there is always good for the sport. It is uh, just cool probably with Velon that uh, also some uh, yeah fans or amateur riders or whoever who has a bit of touch with the uh, power meters and all the all the data that they are uh, showing to really see yeah i mean uh, just reality how how hard it is the data makes it interesting for a lot of general cyclists and um you know, i came from an era uh where it was just beginning with with training with power meters or specific power training the general cyclist is also very interested in seeing it and um, the more data we can gather and analyse, then the more we can can improve the sport or improve our athletes as well. I think it's cool, you know, I think it's it's nice, like, um, makes it more public, you know, and I think it's hard to sort of relate, um, you, know, you know, the speeds, but it's hard to know, like, what we're doing. It's really interesting, you know, it makes it a bit more like a, well, like F1, isn't it? a bit more open, so everyone can, can enjoy it. I mean, uh, I think it's nice to make the, um, the TV uh, coverage uh, with more interaction uh, with what's uh, happened inside the bunch. Yeah, it's, it's the future of not just cycling, but all sports.